Well, hello everybody. We're still here. We're live. We're here. It's, <laughs> um, we're in California right now. We are in Roseville, California. Um, it's the day after my TEDx talk. I was one of the speakers at that. I was on August 7th. Um, it's been a heck of a heck of a journey since we've been back. So we apologize for the radio silence. We had actually planned to have weekly videos while we were here of week one, week two, week three, and we had a curveball thrown at us. We had a big curveball thrown at us. Um, so the day that we arrived was the 14th of July. Made it through travel uh, back to the U.S. back to my my parents, and um, we got actually our first vaccine that day so um, what ended up happening one week later uh, to the day is I had contracted COVID we remember this is a two-shot course of vaccine so we're still very thankful that we got it and we will be getting our second shot coming up this week it seems like somewhere from when we first got it before it was really worked into our body as much we contracted it we weren't out and about much um, just visiting family. Just visiting family. Because as we left for Barbados in December, we didn't get to spend so much time with family. So that was the big goal of our trip this time, to see friends and family that we didn't get to see before we left. Yeah. And so, that's what we were most excited about. So, the text. exactly. That, that, was, that was the big thing of prep uh, and kind of going through. So we've got some, we made it through. Uh, Lisa and I both had it. Preston had it. He was asymptomatic. Both of us got knocked down a bit. He had lots of energy and didn't understand why, why we, were, we did not. There's a whole story about that experience. We have a dear friend of ours that actually we happened to be at when uh, it all happened. And uh, he took great care of us. And we're just eternally blessed and grateful for, for really good friends um, that we're able to, you know, kind of kind of manage through that. And then, and then family being able to manage taking care of Kira and whatnot. Yeah, so Kira was uh, negative the whole time. So the whole three time. of us caught it, mm -hmm. Kira managed to stay negative, so. That being said, many of you asked what we are, what we've been excited about in coming back. So this is a little weird, <laughs> but this is sparkling water from Mexico. It's called Topo Chico. We did get our hands on that very early in the trip and we're able to consume- Probably day two. Day two, we were able to, <laughs> have some of that that was kind of what we did while we were locked away in isolation and, and we were going through so we have a lot more to share about what yeah. that experience was like but we were obviously a little too exhausted to go through a um, lot to share with you all about what the tedx prep was like um, mm -hmm. after losing eight days of prep in the three weeks leading up to it and um, it was quite an experience because i experienced heavy heavy brain fog mm -hmm. during that period so coming out of it it was it was quite a lift and quite a challenge. I did want to show you all. I got a new toy coming back to Barbados. So if you see me with this on the beach playing, please come say hello because <laughs> that's what that's why I got one of these guys. This is a new little tiny base, um, and it's been an anchor uh, for getting us better and, and healthy, getting a little time there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna some of the upcoming videos that we have. We're gonna share with you what the TEDx prep was like. Um, I spent a lot of time talking to stuffed animals while I was um, isolated. And TWA signs. And TWA signs, actually, when we were traveling back. Uh, <laughs> when we were traveling back. We have a whole story about we got getting a, here. <laughs> we got a whole story about getting here. Again, we thought we'd have all that stuff out. So we're gonna work on starting to kind of piece some of that together and, and drip it out to, uh, to all of you. And, you know, now we're, we're all in a much better, better health and place. So we're gonna have the second shot this week and just the gonna get to document, yeah, document. So, <laughs> and we're working through some of the protocols to get back into Barbados. Because if you don't know this, if you do contract COVID, you're likely to test positive for up to 90 days, even um, even though you're not contagious. We've met with our physician doctor here, and that's exactly what they told us. You'll have yeah. the dead strains of it, but it can still show positive. So. Which that's will be an issue trying to get back. That's, that's going to create a whole set of hurdles that we get to clear. But my talk was yesterday. It went incredibly well. I know many of you, many of you have been reaching out asking when you'll be able to see it. It's actually going to take a few months before it gets released. 
What was the talk on? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll share it with you, just the, the, the name of it here. You can see that's what it was. So it was distinctive by nature, why nature makes us better, more present and distinctive in our life and in our work. Um, so I'm really excited to, to share that with you. Uh, it's got a really cool story of actually that connects to how we ended up flipping our script and ending up in, in Barbados. Mm -hmm. um, and it was rooted in a moment that took place years and years ago. Years and years ago. Back so in two thousand yeah, it was back in two thousand twelve that, that that experience uh took yeah. place. It was it actually had to do with Kira's first laugh and how that moment has transformed our lives. So that's coming for you in a few <laughs> months. You get to see the run up to that and, and we'll actually take you through a little bit about what prep was like. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you more about why I was talking to TWA signs in New York at two o'clock in the morning and um, and taking cold water plunges in Santa Cruz uh, and giving my talk in the in the ocean in very cold water um, and talking to oak trees. So maybe you'll stop watching us after this. <laughs> You're like, I don't know if we really want to follow a family where this guy talks to it's turtles kind of and <laughs> squirrels and birds and all that, but it was fantastic prep. So we're we'll hopefully have some videos of a little bit of California too, because yeah. we were locked away for quite a period of time. But... We, were, we were locked away for well over 10 days uh, be, what, between both of us. So yeah. again, in the first two, three weeks of our trip, 10 days were locked away in a single home. That, that was it. So and we had we had big plans. So we had, we had lots of things on the agenda, kind of to do squeezing it into two weeks. To squeeze, so. obviously, we were, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll tell you more about the protocols that we were continuing to follow when we're here, and even the experience where we think that we mm -hmm. we contracted it. The mm -hmm. one night in the first week that we went out the to one dinner, time we ate, ate out dinner. at dinner with, all, our with, with our masks, but we we pulled it down and we. We, 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 we think that could have been where we contracted it, but anyhow. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens so for a reason. For some reason we were yeah. meant to go through all this. And at least it happened in the time that it did. Yeah. So I was able to get my brain back right. and actually deliver a talk that I have absolutely no regrets about. So um, awesome. it, was, it was quite an experience. So yeah. Got, and got a new bass we've been playing playing on, so that's cool. It's my new bass shirt, bass attic. So for those of you that don't know, I was I just saw that that was on. So yeah, I'll, I'll stop geeking out on the bass. Anything else? No, we we love we appreciate all of the messages. So many of you have reached out and said, "Are you guys okay?" Yeah, because so, you're used to seeing our videos. We are okay. We really appreciate all the messages and all the encouraging words. And yep. it's been unbelievable to see that from people we don't know we haven't met yeah and, <laughs> and, and, that we have. and some of you um yeah some of you knew that we had gone through the COVID experience and all that and again those messages were they, yeah, they meant the world to us they helped in our healing and mm -hmm. it was great the kids after the talk they actually are at my folks place right now so Lisa and I you would think after giving a giant talk like that you can be all energized we're gonna go do all this stuff no nope, we got some takeout food and we sat at home and we just finally had a and chance to connect because i've been so heavy in prep for the past well two weeks after yeah. getting over covid i've been here but haven't had a lot of time just yeah. really getting to connect and getting to hang out so it's just really yeah. nice yeah we ended up passing out <laughs> early because awesome. we were just tired 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 from, from it all so thank you all yes and, thank you guys and we will be back with more for you soon all right yeah. take care everybody